Hi, I'm Meg from the Edmonton Public Library and welcome to my armchair travel adventure. For my armchair travel today, I'm looking back on a trip that I took when I was graduating from university with a degree in theater and I went to Germany to put on a play. We started from the Theatre of the Arts at the University of Waterloo in Ontario and arrived in Berlin, which is a great city I definitely recommend checking out, a mixture of history and lots of new experiences. One thing I've done on trips ever since I was a teenager is keep a travel journal. It's a great way to remember your experiences. So if you want to take your travel journal to the next level, you can use a Creative Bug class from the library. So to find Creative Bug, you start on epl.ca and go to Digital Content and learn right here in the middle. You won't have to go down too far because Creative Bug is right up here near the top. You can scroll down and see it right here. When we log into Creative Bug, you're going to want to be logged into the library's website first, or you can log in here with your library card number, or just continue as a guest. But you do need to log in with your library card on the library website first. Once you go in, you'll see what classes are available and you can go up here to the top and search for travel journals to see what we can find for classes to help up our travel journaling game. And right here you can see how to paint for a travel journal, a DIY travels journal, and even just some ways to do daily art journals that you could use while traveling. One historical location we visited was the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. It was built in the 1890s and damaged in an air raid bombing in 1943, but you can see that they actually left the spire um, in place even though it was damaged so that you can sort of see the history of what actually happened. There is a new memorial attached to this old building as well. The inside was beautiful with great mosaics um, that you can see right here. One of the other things that I really loved about Berlin was the street art. This was on a subway stop that we were waiting for and it was just this beautiful art. Another really great location that we went was the Berlin Cathedral. We can hung out on the greens here and people watched as people passed us by. Another location in Berlin that we went to was the Holocaust Memorial. This memorial was really uh, impactful. It starts as sort of ankle high gray blocks and as you walk into it the blocks get taller and taller and it till they're sort of towering over your head and it symbolizes the small decisions that everyday German people made that ended up being sort of these terrible genocide. Once we left Berlin one of the things that we saw were these road signs. We were being driven from Berlin to a small town called Zinnewitz and on the road we kept seeing these electronic signs smiling at us and we asked the driver what they were and she didn't speak a lot of English but she decided to show us what they were. So when we got up to the next sign she um, sped up and sort of blazed past it and we, we got a frowny face and so they were road signs telling you whether you were following the speed limit. Once we made it to Zinovitz, this was the Theatre Academy um, in this sort of tiny seaside village on the island of Uzdam. And it was a beautiful town that we could go and see. And we actually went on a beautiful bike tour all around the village. Unfortunately, I had not been on a bike since I was a small child and was nowhere near fit enough to keep up with our riding instructors and tour guides. And so I did get lost. Um, but Luckily, when you're lost on an island, you just have to keep the beach on one side of you and you eventually come back to some place that you recognize. And if you were going to be lost somewhere, this was a really beautiful place to be lost. Thanks for joining me on my trip to Germany. Summer starts at EPL is coming. All throughout summer, kids will read, participate in fun activities and win prizes. But don't feel left out, grown-ups. We have a summer reading program for you too. Summer Reads is our adult version, and there's something for readers of all ages this summer at EPL.